throw off my shirt away. And I put in blank sheets of paper. And at that time, plus, you know, I'd be, you know, I'd be dressed in my red pinstripe or blue pinstripe suit, my Rolex watch, you know, the, the, the guard. Cleaner than Bill of Health. Cleaner than, cleaner than the Board of Health, yeah. You know? <laughs> so, interestingly enough, the guards would see me, oh, that's Dr. King's New York lawyer. And they would just come. I mean, I would, I would take my wallet and my keys, and they would just, they wouldn't even touch me. They, 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 they wouldn't do any of that. They just said, he's okay, let him through. Okay. So over the course of five days, I would take, I'm doing this twice a day. I would take blank paper into him, okay, to write on, and then I would take what he had written on, and I put it in, and that went on for a long period of time. And that was a letter from the Birmingham jail. Now, I don't pay any attention to this. Six weeks later, I'm sitting in the office of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Dora McDonald says, well, class, I'm so glad you're here. Christianity in Crisis wants to reprint it. You handle things like this. I said, what do you mean? I said, I've never read the letter. So each he said, oh, there's a mimeograph copy there. So for the first time, I read his letter from Bur And when I read the letter there, sitting outside his office, I said, oh my God. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. So I tell Martin, if I do get no credit for being able to quote scripture, since you got a PhD in theology, you're supposed to do that. But the brother would quote, you know, he would, he would quote a lot of things that, that he didn't have, except in Socrates. He quote things he didn't have, except in his head.